Ollie Marks gets set. Bake! Do you fancy yourself as a bit of a baker? Two mixes, Louis. Two mixes, Louis. Oh, my goodness. There is a plumbing issue here. Then apply for Series 6 of The Great British Bake Off. Come on! <laughs> what do you think of the bake, Paul? It totally nails it. And that was a clip from the runaway hit British TV show, The Great British Bake Off. The new season is not yet available stateside, at least not legally, but that's not stopping hordes of the show's American fans here to discuss how the rise of our global TV appetites is outpacing the ability of TV and streaming companies to feed it is WSJ's Ellen Gamerman. Ellen, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for so are you a fan of the show? It looks great. Oh, yeah. Yeah? It's, it's strangely addictive. It's very polite. They're only competing for a cake stand, nothing more than that. Um, but you can't kind of take your eyes off it. these eccentric British characters. And, and there's um, a new development, A new say. development today where there's been a lot of upheaval, upheaval in this sh the world of this show um, because it's going to switch over uh, to from the BBC to Channel 4 in the UK. And so the, a couple of the hosts have let, announced that they're going to leave. And then this morning, this beloved grandmotherly host named Mary Berry has said that she's going to leave. Oh, no! Back. So the hordes it's, of not just British but American fans, I'm sure, are shocked yes. to hear this. This isn't the only foreign show that has amassed a huge American audience, though. What are some of the other ones? Well, I, they they range. Yeah. Uh, the Nordic Mar stuff is very popular. A lot of people are tuning in to shows like Borgen, a political drama from Denmark. And, and then it ranges to the obscure. They don't necessarily have a huge following here, but it's really fun. Fun to, to watch a sitcom from New Zealand about uh, bachelors looking for a Maori bride or that a sound pleasant middle-aged doctor in the Alps trying to help stricken climbers. In so these can also sort of amass a little cult following they can. as well. Yeah. So is the fight on then for all of these foreign TV rights? It is. It's definitely a more competitive landscape than it used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, and big players like Netflix are able to come in, and if they want something, they can co-produce it. They're going in and producing their own stuff. They have 13 countries now that they're doing foreign language series in right now, right. producing them. So that, that helps them, because then they're able to debut these shows in the U.S. in real time if they want. Sure, which is great because we, we know that the American viewing audience is an impatient one. We are now so used to getting things on demand and streaming anytime we want it. Has all of this almost created an insatiable audience monster? In some ways. I, it's a good way to put it. <laughs> I mean, once you start binging, you can't stop, I guess, is the idea. Yeah. If you have just spent your summer watching The Great British Bake Off, uh, you then want to see, hey, it's going on in the UK right now. Well, can I, I should go be able to see it and see <laughs> right. an episode, which you can. Um, but, but what are some of the questionable ways people are doing it? Because yeah. they may not even realize that all of these ways are not entirely legal, correct? Right. Yeah, I mean, if you can find it online and you can get it. Why shouldn't you watch it? Right, and one of the most innocuous ways seems to be to just search it on YouTube. Uh, it comes right up and then you can watch, but, y you know, some of these things are policed and um, YouTube has algorithms that will flag pirated material and it's up to the copyright holder whether they want to leave it up and sometimes they do um, a huge game of whack-a-mole it, it is it yeah and if you're a fan of these shows you're you just watched three episodes and then it, it, it gets whacked and it's off of whatever streaming site you've been watching it on right. and you're stuck halfway through the series and you can't continue. Well, I would imagine that the show's creators love the fact that they have huge American audiences, so why can't they just coordinate and release everything at the same time? It's just a complicated international landscape mm -hmm. now. And the, um, you know, if it's just the way uh, American um, networks hold on to their material right. and before sending it abroad. Um, it's uh, all about the copyright and maximizing your profits at home before closing your window of exclusivity to that show. Absolutely. It certainly doesn't stop lots of uh, insatiable viewers of getting their hands on the, the latest episode. So thank you so much, Ellen, for that.